everybody. I'm a day late for my Instagram live, but here I am. Unprepared, just two minutes of notes ready here. So just waiting to see if anybody can join live. Didn't exactly give much notice though, did I? But anyway, um, it'll be saved to IGTV. So I just wanted to come on and talk about my candle. Here it is here. It's been for sale since the 1st of July, but I haven't had a minute to actually properly launch it or talk about it. So here I am. So where the idea came from, so it's the Wild Soul Wellness, wellness Candle, and I'll get to in a minute why it's a wellness candle and why it's not just Another, another lovely scented candle. So the idea originally came from when I started doing my yoga teacher training and I was looking ahead to when I'd be out and about teaching in different studios and in corporates and things. And because I feel like the music and the smells and the whole atmosphere of a studio was so important to the whole experience of going to a studio, and don't forget this was pre-pandemic, I thought, wouldn't it be nice if, because I always ask teachers, what was that song you played? What was that incense? What was that candle? If you, if you enjoyed the scent that you could purchase it and bring it home. So because scent has all that emotion tied to it and all those memories tied to it, that in a split second, it brings you back to a moment. Like if you ever smelled like a perfume that you used to wear or an aftershave, it just brings you back instantly a bit like the way music can. I thought it would be really nice to have kind of my own signature, signature scent. And if somebody said, oh, it smells so lovely in here, I'd say, this is what it is. So you can buy it and bring it home. So that was where the idea originally came from. Then of course, COVID and then the lockdowns and teaching entirely online. So helping people kind of create that space at home became a little bit more important. So I would send playlists, a lot of times I'd make a new playlist for each class when I had time. So definitely a different playlist for different types of yoga and different types of yoga classes. And then I had this idea with my workshops that I would send out um, herbal teas and different things so that we could all have a bit more of a sense of community. So during the yoga workshop, we'd all be listening to the same music, drinking the same drink, having the same smells. That didn't really work out just because people would often book especially uh, Irish people I think were very last minute well I'm not because I'm the OCD but most Irish people are very last minute people a lot of people book, book on the workshop the day of or the day before so I wasn't getting a chance to post the things out in the post before the workshop so people were getting their package afterwards so that's okay it's trial and error and that's fine so in the meantime I was working on having either a wax melt or a candle so this process took a really long time, especially because we were in lockdown, so I couldn't meet my lovely candle maker in the flesh. So we could, we could have got this done a little bit quicker had we been able to sit and brainstorm and discuss exactly what I wanted and go through different samples and things. So that process took a lot longer because we were, she was posting them to me and then I was burning them in the house because I didn't have any visitors. So I couldn't get any other opinions other than my husband. And then I'm trying to go with what I thought people would like rather than what I would like because at the end of the day, of course I have to love my own product, but it's not about what I would like, it's about what you would like. So it took such a long, it takes a long time. Somebody asked me the other day um, after a class, I was talking to her about this and she said, oh, did you buy a load of candles from China and put labels on them? And I was like, and no, I definitely did not. And there's probably nothing wrong with that. I'm sure that's perfectly fine, but that's definitely not what I did. And in fact, I was able, where we were, I was able to actually point two minutes away. It was where the candles were made. They'd been made in Ireland, handmade, hand poured. So long process and that's kind of the reason why I came up with this idea. It was to bring it was to bring that sense of community that you could and also that you could bring that spa or studio feeling home with you, especially when you're doing yoga at home or meditating or journaling or even do, using your jade rollers, doing your own face mask. I know we're all back in salons, but I think we've all gotten into a lot of us have gotten into more of a better habit with our skincare and kind of taking our time with it rather than just washing our face at night. So we're all kind of, I would say we're all, a lot of us are taking our time more with our kind of self-care practices. So it's nice to have a scent specifically for that. 
Now, of course, there's no law that says you can't light your candle on a Saturday night having a glass of wine and watching Netflix, but it's been designed for to kind of enhance and add some ambiance to your home care, your at-home wellness practices. So I'll go through, um, I'm lucky enough to be in part of a group that are kind of experts in aromatherapy. So I was able to ask their advice about the yogic pr um, properties of different essential oils. So it's not just what smells good, it does smell gorgeous and it's really fresh and lemony, citrusy, which I love, but there's a lot of yogic kind of properties to them and also um, a lot of antibacterial properties. So it's not just, it doesn't just smell clean, it actually really is clean. So just to go through the four um, scents in it. So lemon is fresh, mood elevating and immune system stimulating, which everybody's looking for right now. The geranium then is floral, sweet, balancing and restorative. The Mei Chang, which was a flower that I hadn't heard of before I started doing this research, is refreshing, revitalizing, mood uplifting, who doesn't need that, and energy boosting. And then lemongrass, which is a completely different kettle of fish to lemon, is antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. So clean and smells fresh and clean as well. So obviously it can't smell it over the internet, but it's lemony, it's citrusy, it's fresh, but there is a lot of warmth to it as well. You don't need to burn it for a long time to get the scent. In fact, I would say, and I do have this on the card, don't leave it burning for hours and hours, you're just gonna waste it. You don't, you know, you just need to get the scent and then you can blow it out and you'll still be able to smell it in the air. So moving on then to what makes it a wellness candle. Okay, it's designed to be used with your at-home practices, but just to kind of go one further to make this different and unique, it's also a wellness candle because it gives you access to more wellness. So with your candle, you'll get your little card, it's got all the safety information, just the standard kind of candle safety information that we should probably all know, but we've all scorched our tables and left marks on our walls from leaving a flame. Thanks, Laura, just getting some feedback here from those that have it already. Um, aside from that, on the other side of the card is a URL, so a website link that you will go in, put in the password that's on the card and you have access to the Secret Wellness Club, which is an online hub of short wellness videos and practices that will be added to, I'm thinking I'm adding to it every Tuesday night. I've just recorded some five minute um, root chakra affirmations. So I'll be adding to it at least every Tuesday night and there'll be different lengths the videos will be different lengths. So do you say of, well, I'm gonna light my candle and I have five minutes to do something for myself. Throw on a face mask and spend five minutes with the video. I'll be adding other chakra affirmations. I'll be adding some journaling prompts. I might add some, I know that everybody likes video, so just so it's appealing to everybody, I'll have some PDFs that you can print off, maybe some workbooks that you can journal on as well and affirmations. So I'm happy to do whatever people enjoy and what people want from this wellness space, from the Secret Wellness Club. So those recordings won't be accessible anywhere else. So as the kind of online classes are less popular now as we're getting a bit more outdoors, so I'll be focusing solely on yoga for online, in-person, in studios and outdoors. And then the more general wellness, affirmations, journaling and keeping pretty much to the Secret Wellness Club. So I'll, I'll also let people know on Instagram, I've just added whatever to the Secret Wellness Club. And I know a lot of people will be going, what is that? So it comes with a candle. So make sure if you're buying your candle, from stockists, I do have one fantastic stockist so far, but I have more in the works. Um, it's C Beauty Studio in Black Rock, and they have it there, and it's selling well so far. It's selling well for me as well, and Laura is saying she loves the wellness hub aspect so much more than just a candle. Well, yeah, that's exactly it. There's so many fantastic candles out there. I'm a candle addict anyway, and a diffuser addict, and a room spray addict but I needed to make this different and to make this um, 
unique as best I can. So that's what I've done. So it's not just a candle, you get an experience. So my original idea was that I would record a candle gazing meditation, which is called a trakara, I think in Sanskrit. Um, when I looked into it, the candle gazing meditations, there's so many contraindications. If you have glycoma, if you have epilepsy, they're not recommended. They're not recommended anyway to do more than once or twice a week. So even though I will at some stage, I will add a candle gazing meditation. I used to love, I used to spend hours staring at my call for it growing up, looking at the flames. But actually, um, it's not something that you could do on a regular basis. So then it kind of evolved into this kind of hope that I would add to regularly. So um, there'll always be something new, at least once a week, there'll be something new there that you can dip in and out of. And it'd be really clear how many minutes each video will be. So you'll know exactly what you have time for. So just finally, before I go, I suppose the last thing to mention is that I'm selling the candle online on my website, wildsoul.ie, to go straight to the shop. Just put wildsoul.ie forward slash shop. It's 18 euro. And the only kind of obstacle that I'm coming across now is that the postage in Ireland is quite expensive and because it's glass as well. So it's on post is 6.20 for me to post it. And that doesn't include the packaging to make sure that it's secure and everything. And I want it to be a good experience when you get your package in the post, especially the last year as well. Like, I don't know about you, but I've been living for anything that I buy. I probably didn't buy more than usual, probably less, but each purchase was more thought out. And then I would wait for the postman, wait for the tracking code, drive my husband mad going, my parcel's still in wherever. So I think it's really important then when you do get your package that, you know, it's a little bit of an experience. Like there's nice, there's a, there's a fine line between really nice packaging and having it sustainable as well. So I always reuse any nice paper and things that, and, and the envelopes themselves. I reuse everything that comes, ribbons and all that. So I'd like my packaging to be a nice experience, but also sustainable. So th that's the only thing is that the postage is a little bit more expensive than what I would like. So I'm gonna look into couriers, which would probably be not more expensive than on post, or maybe selling them in twos. I'm finding people are buying them actually in twos as well and people are buying them for gifts already which is amazing and it's not even into kind of gift buying season generally and um, people are just buying them for birthday presents and for thank you presents and things like that which is great so maybe i'll send, sell them in twos but um hope to have more stockists stockists i'd love to have um a stockist in north dublin because i already have one in south and uh, ideally I'd like to have a stockist in every county, that would be amazing. And it also means that you could probably smell them as well, um, if there was one on display. So that's kind of it. Um, I have, I've been selling really well since I launched and also the kind of pre-launch stage when I had the shop ready and I kind of needed to make sure the shop was working okay and then some people started to order. So I have some in stock, I have them ready to go packaged up. So if you're interested, head over to wildsoul.ie. I've been sharing any feedback that I've been getting so far in my stories, and then I share them into my highlights under Wellness Candle. So you'll see other people's feedback there. And we've been lucky enough to have been featured in the gloss. Um, the beauty editor, uh, Sarah Halliwell, very kindly shared the candle the day she received it, actually just a couple of hours later on um, um, an article that she wrote about beauty, Irish beauty launches for that week. So that was amazing. So hopefully we'll get some more PR as well, which is always good. But if you want to get on to do this early before everyone else knows about it, then I hope you will consider purchasing a candle at wildsoul.ie and joining the secret wellness club so thank you so much for joining me whether it was live or whether you're watching this back on igtv or on youtube i probably want to put it in my newsletter as well well repurpose it all over the place if anybody has any quick questions before i go i know i have lots of comments in room and saying that they love the idea and the scent is lovely Okay, so that's about it. Thank you so much for joining me and talk to you soon.